What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Guided Life. Hey, man, we have an exclusive tonight. We are in Madison, Wisconsin, the old capital, and we are out on the water, Lake Mendota, and we are doing a little bow fishing tonight. Now, the Guided Life has done plenty of bow fishing trips, but the cool thing tonight is you see the gentleman behind me. Well, the man at the helm right now, that's Chris, and he is the creator of Efficiency Bow Fishing Lights. Now, the other thing too is I got Chris's first customer, and what Mitch Tanner, who was also with us, told me is Bill is like a sure shot and never misses. Right, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> so what we're all here tonight, obviously, is we're gonna show you all about the Efficiency Light System, and then the other thing too is hopefully we get on some rough fish out here. Now, again, the big thing we're doing it's August, fish are hopefully up in the shallows. We're looking for commons and any kind of rough sh fish we can find. So I'm gonna hop up front and let's get the shooting started. The overall agenda is to try to minimize and eliminate the invasive species in a lot of these lakes. That's actually where this all started. My favorite lake become overrun with carp and uh, the game fish, um, the quality of them just started going downhill. I wanted to try to fight back and help them. We know that, that they're pushing to shut the sport down. We want them to know that there's new technology out there that addresses the complaints. I'm Christopher James Beal. I'm the original inventor of the Efficiency Bow Fishing Light. I'm Mitch Tanner. I'm Chris's teammate. So what is the Efficiency Bow Fishing Light? It's an invention that I uh, created kind of out on my own. I was just, one day I was getting into bow fishing. I can be honest, I haven't been in the, into the sport as, as long as a lot of people have. I started out with, you know, big high pressure sodium lights and uh, of course had to run a generator in order to run them. I personally didn't like the noise and I wanted to find a way to go silent with them. I started playing around with LEDs. I have a pretty long history of lighting and LEDs. So I decided to try to implement some of my own creations and see what I could do. I wanted to get rid of the generator uh, just because it was loud. I was going by shorelines. You know, I could hear people yelling out of their houses and stuff like that a lot. And I couldn't hear what they were saying. Got rid of the generator and uh, I was able to hear what these people were saying and the people that were yelling, weren't necessarily yelling, they are just curious what we're doing. I said, come on down here and talk to me, you know? A lot of them don't know what we're doing. And I think just being able to sit and explain it to them will remedy a lot of the problems we're having. Basically out of necessity, efficiency was born right there. So being able to dim the lights down and turn them off, you know, and not have to go shut your generator off and things and have a conversation is huge, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and being polite too, when you're having you know, pat, other boats in passing, uh, kayakers around the lake a lot, swimmers uh, going through the narrow channels. We're able to shut down the lights, dim them down to almost nothing, and just sneak through, do our thing, and and get out of there. Right. That's huge. Before, I mean, we would just flood the shorelines with with light and noise, and mm -hmm. anybody would get mad about that. Yeah, I started doing this probably six years ago. There's probably eight revisions since the first one. We make them in USA. Um, we've invented not only the light, but we've invented our own methods of manufacturing too, uh, to, to keep production here uh, without having to export you know, overseas and stuff like that. It's to the point now where you can have uh, plenty of light to do the sport and, um, and not have to have a generator. Um, this, I believe this light is probably one of the first that opens up that possibility. You can stretch that charge out by controlling the amount of power. Uh, the dimmer essentially gives you a variable wattage light. It's not a fixed wattage. So you can dim them down to, like I said, to eight watts a piece. You can do some scouting with very little power draw and get the job done and then hit it harder during the tournament and you know keep your charge but that's you know 
doing what you want to, you, you, you got to, you know, be conscientious of your power. So that, that's the day when I, when I switched from generator battery, I realized how precious light was. And I thought we should not waste it. Don't waste any of it. And uh, that's what efficiency is all about. You know, it's all about keeping the, as much light into the water and wasting as least amount as possible. Every watt counts when you're, when you're out there on the water on battery. You can't just dump gas in a battery and keep going. It just happens to be that it, maximizing the, the light, the lumens going into the water, that was what I was mainly after. Because I needed to have enough light, but I wanted to be on battery too. And usually that doesn't mix too well with generators. So by implementing the reflector design, which is a key element in the patent uh, that we have on the, on the light, that uh, advantage just happens to, just so happens to also address the light pollution issue simultaneously at the same time. I independently thought of the idea of combining multiple colors uh, into the light to adapt to multiple color uh, water conditions, basically clear, semi-clear, murky waters. I didn't know there ever was a light out there um, that had a dual color or multiple color uh, adjustability. I thought that it would be a pretty Im important feature to add to the product to be able to, you know, accommodate any kind of water conditions you might be shooting. It's basically to adapt to any kind of water conditions you might encounter. And, you know, the, the color options are actually, uh, could be made to order too. Because they're made in the United States, we have that flexibility to add a special color chip if they have to, a special requirement for that. It only, it, it doesn't only help with murky water, but it also helps with cross winds and, and ripples and things like that and reduces the shimmer effect on the surface significantly. Uh, and fog too, like if you ever out there at a cooler night uh, where the water's warm and you get a haze coming off the water, the light will also help penetrate through that too. So you got neutral white and then you've got, you know, mid white and warm white is what you could call it. And then you've got HPS color. So the features we've been talking about are all controlled by a central controller. So all of the lights tie together as into a single system that's controlled by a, a wired controller. Um, so the dimming feature is there, the on off system uh, on off is there, uh, the color change uh, switch is there, but there's also a digital volt readout there. So you can actually monitor where your state of charge is um, just by taking a look at the controller. So what we have here too is still in development and testing, but we have a wireless app for controlling the lights. So you can set up your lights um, in zones and you have with this module, you have four different zones to pick from, and I have them labeled right side, front, left side, and rear, and I can actually turn off or on. So if you look at the right side, I'll hit the right button here, you can see the right side actually turns on and off. Or front side, off. Or I can do all off or all on, just with the touch of a, a button on my app on this on my phone here. So the, the best part, my favorite part about switching lights from my old Amazon specials is the space savings on my boat. So I used to have light coves around the front of my boat. And you can see we went to these smaller, more compact light and I got rid of the weight in the front of my boat. So I took 200 pounds of light coves off my boat and I was able to switch to a little, what are these eight inches? Yeah, eight little, inch. little eight inch, eight inch wide. light with a with a custom aluminum cove that Chris designed and, and built for me. So the, the the weight savings in the front of the boat was huge. And then also I'm I'm brighter and I'm putting more lumens in the water than I was with these Amazon special lights running a generator at full bore. That was my favorite part. And then also being able to dim the lights and control them and be courteous to people on the shorelines and, and be more sneaky is is awesome. Oh, right here. Yeah, there he is, a buff, nice buff. Got him. Nice, dude. You stone Ooh. him? No. Nope. I'm gonna chase him. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna chase him. Yep, coming right back at us. You win him? Yep. Nope. You ready? You get him back. That's a nice one. 
Go oh, ahead, he's Bill. Pulling. Here we go. Ready? I'm gonna get him in. Oh, nice fish. Nice Don't fish. Out. Don't pull out. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, he got off. Oh, oh dude. It's the stupid two barbs. Sorry about that backup. Oh, mm. that's my, I had him. He was I, all over the place. I should have had him in. He was dogging. Gosh, dang it. Oh, uh, you were on. They're know, soft man. this time of year. That's yeah. the issue. They get soft in the summertime like yeah, this. Yeah, good and, hit on it too. And then that the arrows. It's unfortunate, but the arrows pull right out, especially yeah, he, when they fight hard like that. That thing was all over, dude. Early season and late in the fall, they they firm up, and then the arrows do, stick in a lot better. Yeah, he's poundage skied. wise. You know, for doing this, something 30, 35 pounds is about the max. Usually if you go a lot heavier than that, first of all, it sucks pulling it back a hundred times a night. <laughs> Second thing too is you blow through fish. Right. And then yeah. it makes it a lot tougher to get the arrows out. Yeah, that's <clears throat> no fun. So like a lot of the bows we're shooting too, like I have it, mine's a compound, but it's like a recurve with wheels, meaning like I could snap shoot it. A lot of, you're seeing a lot of the shooting we're doing, it's quick. Fish is there, you gotta shoot right now. So like, Mine has wheels on it, but it's like an infinite draw. I can draw this from, you know, six inches all the way back to 30 inches. These guys have something very similar. It's like a compound or a recurve with wheels. Yeah, but the cams are on the inside instead of the outside. Like this. So because a lot of this, these fish are here right now, you got to be able to snap shoot. Meaning like what a snapshot is, is the majority of the fish we're shooting at, we're barely coming to full draw. And we're just trying to get a barb in them, try to get some barbs into these fish. Yeah. I found two guys, you can maybe back me up. When I come to full draw and anchor, usually that's when I miss. Yeah, yeah if you got time to think about it, that's when you, it's instinctive shooting. And when you're sitting there thinking about it, trying to aim, you know, it's, these guys know what I'm talking about. It, it just, oh, yeah. you gotta do it instinctively and usually you don't have time to think and yep. you just, no time to draw. Quick shots, less than a second. Yeah. Right. And the other, so the other thing too, like Chris means, like none of our bows have sights on them. You can see our sight brackets are wide open. So you're using the arrow, you're using the sight window as a reference. You're, you're, most of the time you're not even hitting an anchor point. You're just guesstimating, doing your best and just letting it rip tater chip. All right, let's get back to letting it rip. So it was a great night out here again. I want you to check out his Facebook page, check out his website. I want to thank The Real Shot first and foremost. 
Uh, awesome title sponsor. Again, a lot of the products that I was using tonight, bow fishing wise, are available in store and online at therealshot.com. So check them out there. And the other thing too, is if you're looking for an awesome pair of water shoes, the hybrid water shoes like I'm rocking, the cross kicks, what I'll do is I'll take my code and my discount code, which is TGLTV20, and I'll put them in the link, in the, the uh, description below. So thank you everybody so much for watching this one. Hopefully you uh, learned a couple of things and uh, like I always say, we'll see you on the next one.